How are you guys in YouTube land? It is Monday morning. Welcome to Yellow Brick Road Reselling. I see we have Charlie in here and we have Zen. Although Zen, you were here a few hours ago. So you three, th I can't believe you were here at 618 East time and you are on the West Coast. That means it was 3 a.m. for you. Wow. Hopefully you were up early, not going to bed that late. That's crazy. Three o'clock. Must have been busy with some orders, making some incense. Good morning, Lisa. How are you today? Did you have a great weekend? I had a um, busy weekend. I felt like, oh my gosh, last night, I think it was about six o'clock. I finally sat down and was like, oh my gosh, I need a weekend for my weekend. <laughs> oh, good morning, Jeanette and Eric. We got the regs popping in. Um, yeah, I went on Saturday, went over to my mom's and did some crafting. My sister-in-law was up visiting. They were going to do their own thing and it didn't end up working out. So they were doing something else and they said, want to come over? And I was like, okay, <laughs> I was going to go garage sailing, but you know what? It's hard to garage sale when it's 30 degrees and it's got snow on the ground because most people just cancel their garage sales, right? You are not going to have a yard sale if it's snowing and 30 degrees, and the garage sales, there were only about five in the area that were even in the newspaper. And I said, I'm not going to, one of them was one I wanted to go to was about 40 minutes away. And I said, I'm not going to drive 40 minutes to find out that it's closed. So I didn't even end up garage sailing. Um, I just read in my messages. Okay. So let's go with what we're here for, right? That's shipping and chatty while well, we're here for chatting too. Uh, I got about 25 orders today. I was so disappointed. Uh, somebody had shared in one of my Discord groups the their like 30 day total on Amazon. And I said, oh, I'm going to pull up mine. I told my husband, I'm like, you're not going to believe what my total is right now. It is so, so sad. So as of right now, all of you asking me for advice on Amazon, of course, I, I mean, I know Amazon, but man, I'm just not doing my... Uh, doing my due diligence on it. That's for sure. I've just let that slide so much. So I'm using it like between 10 and 12,000 a month. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm at 24. Look at that pathetic number. Look how bad that is. I do have four orders going out as you can see, but $2,400 yesterday, it was 2,500. So I even went down from yesterday. Oh my gosh. I did send in a shipment last week. I did send in um, two boxes, which easily could have been one box, but I didn't have a box big enough because it ended up costing me even more money. Man, I'll tell you, have boxes and supplies on hand. I should have had some large shipping boxes from uh, Lowe's, but all I had were the medium. And I could have easily done it in one box because I think to combine it was only like 37 pounds. So I could have done one and it would have definitely been cheaper because I'm trying to think of how much it cost. I think it was like $13 or $14. And I know it probably would have only been like $7 or $8. Yeah, it's much cheaper. Uh, hey, good morning, Holly. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you last week. It's been like so, I feel like I've been so busy. Because we had companies show up on Friday. And I traveled with my mom on Wednesday. Had to bring the, the cat to the vet, which was a complete flop. By the way, you can, the vets here are not allowing people to go in. So when we got there, we had to call a phone number and tell them that we were there. Called the number and the, and the voicemail, like answering whatever, said to text them to let them know you're there. So my husband had made the call. and But you also had to say who you were, what's your pet's name, and why you were there in your text telling them you were there. I already did that when I made the appointment. So he was like, well, you text them because he didn't want to go through the whole process and so I was typing the whole story because now I'm like now I can't like tell them in person everything so I was typing it all out texting it texted it about 20 minutes went by and I'm like I can't believe they haven't even acknowledged that I'm out here so I sent another text saying hello question mark question mark question mark and then my husband goes well what number did you text and I read back the number and I was off I made it wrong it was supposed to be a five and I put a nine in or something like that so they didn't even get the text. So by the time I texted them, it was only 15 minutes past my appointment. We were there early. And they said I'd missed my appointment. So pretty much was uh, I could sit and wait until they could fit me in or 
cancel. So I canceled because I'm like, how long do you think it would be? And they said they didn't know. Could be an hour, could be two hours. Like, I'm not going to sit in the car with a cat crying in a carrier for two hours. So we left, which was good because about 10 minutes down the road, I started smelling something. The cat had left a doo doo in the carrier. Thought, thank gosh, it wasn't at the beginning of us leaving because that stunk. Uh, all right, so that was my Friday. It's just been really, really crazy. Really, I've just been so busy. Um, which I have company here. If you guys hear a gunshot, let me know. It's not a bad thing, but it's turkey season here, and um, we become, I don't know, home base for any type of hunting season. And my father-in-law is out there hunting, and my my husband said, I'm going back to bed. Let me know if you hear a gunshot go off to wake me up. Because I can hear him snoring up there. So now I got to listen to him snoring, listen for a gunshot while talking to you guys. <sighs> All right. So let's see. We got a few more people in here. Uh, good morning, Laura and SSK Promo. I'm, I'm always so bad at not hitting you guys and popping you up on the screen. All right, let's see. We let's do Poshmark first because I got all the four things right here. Somebody did a bundle. And what's even better is they did a bundle and didn't ask me for like a better price. They did a bundle and just paid my automatic 10% that I give when you bundle stuff. Um, hold on, let me see. Yeah, we got orders on eBay, Macari, Poshmark, Facebook, and Amazon to go out. No Etsy orders. None. Crazy. I'm just shocked. So, all right. So, there's all these. So, I sold. This is some fall skinny syrups, fall dessert trios. Uh, let's see what you get in here. I got three more of these. I bought them for Amazon. And by the time I got home and did some looking up a little bit more, ended up being not really worth it. So, I was FBMing it. It didn't go. Hey, good morning, GRKR. So this one's got pumpkin cinnamon roll, pumpkin caramel, and a maple donut. I bet you that maple donut is so good. So I paid $6.99, which I got to take the price still off of this. And I was asking $25, and they did a bundle, so they got 10% off. Pretty sure that's what it is. Well, the total was $80. The bundle price was $80. Oh, no, the bundle price was $80. <coughs> Why is it every morning when I start talking, I start coughing? Good morning, Scarlett. Good morning, Mama. So I, um, yeah, so I picked up a lot. I picked up four of these just to kind of, you know, see the market. I'm glad I didn't buy more of them. So I thought they were going to sell really quickly last fall, and they didn't. They didn't even sell through the holidays. They're up on Amazon, and they're here. But it just wasn't worth sending them to Amazon. So I was FBMing them. And uh, who would think this would sell on Poshmark, right? Like it's not probably really even supposed to be on there. But I push to the limits because I don't think they police things. I think they just want their money. Um, so I also sold these socks in the bundle. So this is what's so nice when you have such a variety of things, right? Somebody bought these dessert syrups, a pair of socks, or a bundle of socks, a coffee mug, a Harry Potter coffee mug, and a notebook. <laughs> Isn't that such an odd combo? Uh, so these socks, I was selling these from Walmart all through the holidays, and they sold so, so well. Um, these right here were actually not on, I think these were the ones that were not on Amazon. Or were they the ones that were on Amazon? These may have been on Amazon. I don't know. They were selling really, really fast, and I kept picking them up. Pick, kept picking them up. And then of course they just went to a complete halt right after Christmas. I think I probably had, I don't know, maybe six of these bundles left. And this is finally my last one is now gone. And then this, I think it is just a notebook. Yeah, it's just a notebook, but it's a notebook that's got like a date and time up here. So you can write down as a journal or whatever. And then this I picked up at, oh, TJ Maxx. No, I didn't get this at TJ Maxx. Where did I get this? Oh, I did get it at TJ Maxx. No, thrift store. I paid $3.99 for it. But whoever bought it originally, they got it at TJ Maxx. So I'm thinking, I didn't get that at TJ Maxx. I bought it at a thrift store for $2.99. So let me take off the TJ Maxx sticker, though. 
I was like, I don't remember buying it there. Okay, that one. Uh, the notebook I paid six ninety nine for, and the socks I paid. I don't know. I don't have it in front of me. So, all right, let's see. Uh, what's nice about Poshmark is they always pay the shipping and it's always um, priority. Well, not always. So you can send them deals and stuff, but it's priority. So I don't have to really worry about anything except what box to put it in. And of course, one of my favorites, the 12 by 12 by 8 box will be perfect for this bundle from Poshmark. So I will be listing or shipping some things that I sold on Facebook. I did ship on Friday and I didn't go live here. Friday or Saturday? Friday. Yeah. Because I went live on Thursday. I ended up coming down and doing some shipments because I had some Amazon orders I wanted to get out. And... I had two things I put on Facebook that sold right away. So I shipped those on Friday. So I've been cross posting to Facebook and I sold two more things. Hey, good morning, Anissa. And good morning, Claudia. Uh, so yeah, I ended up sending, uh, posting, I've been cross posting things to Facebook and I ended up doing quite a bit more over the weekend because I was shocked that some things I listed and they sold so fast. So my goal now is to get all 1,700 items from eBay onto Facebook. There's part of me that's kind of thinking about hiring a VA to do it. Somebody I can just hire and say, hey, just go into my Vendu and cross post. Or don't even use Vendu. Just take my stuff from eBay and put it on there. Or how about somebody that's watching uh, just... Just drop ship all my stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And you you could take the money, your portion. <laughs> it's so funny when people are like so negative on drop shippers. And I'm like, no, drop ship my stuff. You want to buy my stuff and send it to somebody else? Make some money on it? That's all right. Isn't that what Walmart lets us do? We can go in there. And uh, hey, Jennifer, good morning. Uh, thanks for sharing my link on Victoria's show this morning. I hate going in there and like self-promoting all the time. It, it just feels weird because I don't go in there that often because I'm so busy usually at that time in the morning. Um, but even today they were talking about window clings and stuff in a, in a window. And I'm like, I sell some of those. Don't go buy them from somebody else. If you, you know, buy them from me, I'll give you a deal. I sent her a message with a, with a private thing. Cause you know, my prices on eBay and for some things, you know, on anything. Cause I sell them on, on Amazon too. My prices are always so much higher than I'm probably willing to sell them for, especially those, because I got those for wicked cheap. Okay, so I'm just putting all this stuff in here. One, two, three, and then this. I got to bubble wrap my mug. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. I almost gave this to my hopefully future son-in-law. I say hopefully because, you know, they're not engaged or anything, and hopefully at some point they'll get married. Uh, he loves Harry Potter. I almost gave this to him, but I already gave him a Harry Potter mug a few years ago. And my daughter made a comment the other day because I bought her a notebook and she said, another notebook? <laughs> I already got the other four that you've given me. We'll start making some notes. Oh, hey, Charlie. And, and Lee, I don't think I said hi to you, Lee. Sorry if I missed you. I am... Trying to pop up and look as I'm packing. So, all right, let's see. I think we got everything in here. It just needs some bubble, air bubbles. Air bubbles. Oh my gosh, I love these air bubbles. I need to get one of those bubble machines. All right. Oh, that bag's almost empty. The bag my mama gave me. Okay. Let's hope this isn't over the weight limit. So did you guys have a good weekend? Oh, so Charlie says 22 items to pack. Awesome, Charlie. That's like around what I got. I think I have 25 or so. I don't know. Somewhere around that. 
I said 20 plus because orders still came in. Actually, I accepted an order this morning and an offer this morning and they already paid. I hemmed and hawed about whether or not to accept it. I also declined an order, an offer. I keep saying order, an offer. People are like, what do you sell? I'm like, a little bit of everything. Like, seriously, a little bit of everything. Because my offer that I got was for a sump pump. <laughs> I'm selling sump pumps. Like, I got everything. You name it, I probably have it. No, I probably don't have everything. But I got such a variety. But the sump pump was an offer. And I'm so glad they offered and didn't just buy it outright. Because it ended up being for Puerto Rico. And I completely forgot that I was only doing FedEx ground for it. And FedEx ground was like $140 to go to Puerto Rico. And I even looked it up on USPS. I think it was like, maybe it was like 70 something. That was a lot of money for shipping. Cause it was a 21 pound thing. Okay. So that's it for Poshmark. Closing that down. Oh, I should have checked to see if there was any offers I could have accepted. Let me go do that just before I move off from Poshmark. Because I was sharing a lot this weekend. Active offers. No. Okay. Then we're done with that one. All right. Let's do Facebook because that one's on my screen next. So remember I showed you guys this in my haul? I think it was even for my haul from last week. Uh, I sold this. Like I listed it and it sold right away. So actually I shouldn't say right away. Like within 24 hours. Well, that like within a half hour, somebody messaged me with an offer. And I don't have offers turned on on Facebook. Well, they send me an offer. And then, you know, their whole thing. I thought that looked like that was broken, but it's not. It's just short. Um, their whole thing is that they were like offering me this stuff. And then they're like, oh, but I have stage a stage three cancer. I said to my mother, why is it everybody who wants a deal is dying or has something bad? Like everybody. Oh, I got, I saw something this morning. Somebody was saying that somebody didn't pay and they were like, Hey, you haven't paid. It's been three days since you accepted, accepted. I since I accepted your offer. And they were like, Oh, my mother has, is dying from COVID. I'm like your mother's dying from COVID. And you were online buying stuff unless it happened that quick. But I don't know. I just don't believe people. It was in the block bidders group. And somebody said, oh, that same person. I have already blocked them because they've already screwed me over. Who can do that in their right mind? Like make up a story about health and stuff. Because I just think of the people who are really suffering from things like that. So I just ignored her. She finally came back and says, oh, maybe I'll just buy it for full price. And I didn't even acknowledge that message. I'm like, whatever. And then come back and buy it for full price. Honestly, I didn't even check to see if this was the same person. Uh, so this I sold for $19. And I think I paid. I think I paid $1.50 for this. I bet I'll have to double check. But I got it at a local indoor... Thing. I can bubble wrap and I don't want it to break. Let me see. The problem is I don't, I never put my um, custom skew in anything but my eBay. It must have been a dollar ninety nine because I paid two dollars and sixteen cents with tax. So that's not bad. I sold it for nineteen. Uh rainy and cool here today. Uh it's the same thing here. It snow last week. Did you hear me at the beginning? I didn't go garage selling because it was snow on the ground Saturday morning. I have a travel time chit chat I'm going to be putting out. I show the snow on the ground. It was snow and it was 30 degrees. I'm like who, even if you didn't have snow, you're having a garage sale. Who wants to be in their garage at 30 degrees waiting for people to come and buy stuff? I would have canceled if I, if I had a garage sale, I would have canceled it. So I got some new boxes. Let me see if they would fit in my, I think it might fit in my six by fours though, but I went, I had to buy some more of those boxes. I was selling those doll, shipping those dolls in. 
And so I finally broke down. I got some six by sixes by sixes from Staples. And I'm so excited because every now and then I'm like, I just need something bigger than this, but smaller than, well, I love the seven by seven by six priority boxes, but something like this isn't priority. It's too light. I don't want to pay the priority prices. Exhausting weekend shipped 100 yesterday, Eric. Wow. That is crazy. Did you ship from, do you have your own website for the stuff that you do? I think you said last time you don't. It's word of mouth on the other stuff. But I know you probably do Amazon because I see you on the Beard of Pickers um, stuff. So I'm assuming you do Amazon. Yeah, my Amazon. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you were here when I was showing my screen earlier. Oh, my sales are so bad. So bad. I, I don't know. I'm not doing anything. I'm not focusing on it until I get back. This week I leave on um, Thursday. And I won't be coming back till Sunday. I'm going to my sister's and we're doing um, a craft, our, our twice a year craft weekend is this weekend. All right, there's a little movement, but I don't think it's going to affect it. No, I feel comfortable with that. I feel good. All right. That took a while on to get that boxed up. Sometimes you don't think about how much time it takes to do stuff. All right, create a shipping label and ship your item within three days. You'll get paid once your item ships. I have been charging shipping. Oh, so wait a minute. I take it back. It wasn't 19. Well, it was plus shipping. The person paid $24.50 all in. So I guess I will be going to create shipping label. Let me see. I don't think I did shipping through Facebook. I didn't know you could print shipping through Facebook. That's interesting. I'd have a stroke if I shipped that many. <laughs> and this says, that's funny. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I did use, um, I think I did use a shipping label from them. They paid more than they should have because it's only seven ounces. And I'm paying the 15.999 rate. But that means I got to, oh, man, I got to figure out how to sh set this up so it's on my Dymo. I got to move all this stuff because I got to print it on my printer. Got to move my stuff. Oh, I sold some things like this that I have had listed for so long. I'm so glad. It was actually pulled at one point to donate. Oh, it is all metal work that you sold. Wow. Oh, that was Amazon. Okay. Sorry. Reading your messages out of order. Wow. That's a lot of orders for Amazon. That's awesome. That's great. I've been trying not to do that much FBM anymore. I've been trying to ship stuff in. But even then, I did pull out some canning jars. I did finally send those in. I had them FBM and they weren't selling. But anytime I send to FBA, it sells. So I did pull them and send them in. Every now and then, I'm like... Do I really want to, like, I'll send something to Amazon, even if I'm only going to make $3, but I don't want to take the time and store it and ship it in my own with the box and the bubble wrap or whatever I'm going to have to use for $3 profit. So that's the way I feel like some of the things have been lately. The profit just hasn't been there. I'm just, I'm just been sucking at, at sourcing. I've been really bad at sourcing. Um, oh, Jill, Jill Russell. I don't think you're here because you say you have a, a, a normal job. But thank you for the shout out last night. If anybody was watching uh, Richie Hustles, he does a live on Sunday nights. I was in the chat and uh, saying things here and there. And she saw me and shouted me out and said hi. And, and then she said that she likes my channel and the content and they're just kind of nice for anybody who is maybe new to reselling that might have seen that and thought hey i should go check out that channel even though they would have to do some work and put in my name and all that but still just still nice hopefully he didn't feel like richie didn't think that that was a setup and that we did it on purpose it wasn't um 
I gotta tape this stupid label on. I have a serious distress of Facebook and selling stuff. Oh my gosh. I know, Anissa. I know. After I lost my account, I swore off Facebook. Like even my Facebook, personal Facebook page, I have very, very few friends compared to what I used to have on it, which came to reality last week when my cousin died and my sister-in-law had sent a text saying something about it. And I said, how did you know she died? And she said it was on Facebook. And I'm like, oh, I'm not friends with her. I guess her daughter had posted something on her Facebook page. And I said, oh, she's somebody I never ended up refriending. Like, I haven't even gone back in and refriended people that I would have normally had been friends with. I just didn't want to get back deep into Facebook because it, it was devastating losing all of the memories, all of the stuff that you have on Facebook all the connections, like just refining all that is so much work, but you're right. There's no support, no support at all on Facebook. Okay. I taped that sucker back on or not back on, but on. So I've been, and I've noticed that even with Facebook marketplace, because I told you guys I was doing, well, I think I told you I was doing some drop shipping on Facebook because it is not against ter terms of service to, to drop ship. So I tried my hand at drop shipping and you have to copy and paste your, well, you have to put in your tracking information. Well, I drop shipped from Amazon and Amazon was shipping it, doing it themselves, Amazon delivery. And so they gave me a tracking number, but it doesn't work on Facebook because Facebook only takes FedEx, UPS, and USPS. And they have a contact support and I clicked it, but all it did was spin. I don't, I've tried it on numerous computers, numerous browsers, different times of day. I left it overnight because sometimes I would just let it spin for five minutes and then cancel out because I got other stuff to do. Left it overnight. Yeah, no. That form, I don't even think that form works. I think it's purposely made not to work makes you think that it works. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so leery. Well, I decided to try my hand again back at drop shipping. So it's been like six weeks. And this weekend I said, okay, I'm going to reactivate some of those and do it again. I sold one, it shipped, and it's Amazon shipping it, Amazon delivering it. So I'm like, oh, God, so I can't do it again. But I did get paid. So it must be that there's a way that they ask the buyer or something like that, and they must have said, yes, they got it, because I got it, and I got paid. So, hey, good morning, Shamrock Pixie. Stopping by to show love and say hello, Jello. Jello shots. Speaking of jello shots, so um after Christmas, they had on clearance at Walmart were these jello shot maker things. They were like, I think they were like gummy bear ones. And you just pour your mixture into it, whatever. And well, I bought them, sent them to Amazon, and they flew off the shelf. So if you ever see them again, check them out. I've never seen them like besides that time time period. Okay, so that was Facebook. I do have another Facebook one, but it was that drop ship. So I'm going to just wait. It's supposed to be delivered today. So I did send them a message and said, hey, your item's being delivered today. Um, heard a noise. I got this. I just got to figure out which platform I sold it on. Um, I don't have my orders up. I'm awaiting shipment. I don't think this was eBay. Maybe it was eBay. It was eBay. So I have, I bought some of these. I heard they were really popular and you can get them at like TJ Maxx. I got this one at Marshall's for $4.99, which I need to take the price off. Well, ended up being, I had one that was Billie Eilish and I listed it and I got it taken down. The like recording studio, or whatever, of Billie Eilish took it down. Hey, good morning, Sherry. So that was kind of a bummer. Let's take the sticker off. So let's see, I paid $4.99. I sold this one for $16.78. My husband is snoring so loud. It's so loud upstairs. There's no way he could hear his father if he needed him. 
And his father doesn't even have a phone. I'm like, what if he wanted to get out early from his tree stand or shooting shack? He's hunting on my property for those who are arriving late and missed my story. So he's out. I'm listening for a gunshot in case he shoots a turkey. that seven ounces uh yeah so i've been trying to figure out where can i list that other billy eilish what am i gonna do with it like i don't have a need for it 349 for shipping this one was free shipping on this one i made about five bucks i think after fees should be about that oh, i gotta finish my taxes this week How many times have I been saying that? I'm waiting for a form in the mail. So my husband didn't get a 1099 or something. Thought we had had them all, but when I went to sit down about a month ago to do it, I noticed I was missing one. Uh, I I sewed these. Somebody's having a birthday party with Paw Patrol. Um, this is a lot of four of these, and there's eight, so 32 total bags. 32, that's an awful lot. I hope it's for a teacher. Because um, there's too many kids at a birthday party right now. Okay. Hey, folks, I'll be right back. I got to go grab something. Sorry about that. I'm in, um, what is that, uh, work at home attire? <laughs> I really should think better, think better when I put, um, my clothes on for the day, if I'm going to be going on live. All right, let's, let's mail this. Sometimes, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, there we go. I threw those over there and I'm like, duh. Oh my gosh! They don't fit. I wanted to put them in this. Maybe they'll fit if I do this to them. Oh yeah, they'll fit if I fold that. So I got these. I went to a party city that was closing three years ago. Maybe two years ago. Maybe three years ago. I don't remember when. Maybe two years ago. And I picked up a ton of party supplies, a ton of them. And um, they are, of course, right now for the last year, they have been such a slow mover. I just want them out of my house right now. I decided I am going to pull them for my garage sale and just do like a quarter a piece. Just grab whatever you want for a quarter. I just want them out. I don't want to hang on to them anymore. I don't want to see them. I've got like birthday themed ones. I did most of them in bundles, but some things like this, I like bundle just into this. But otherwise you could do like a one stop and shop to buy all your decorations for a birthday party, bridal shower, baby shower, um, tiki party, which I did have an offer. They must not have paid because I didn't pull that today and because I, I accepted their offer. Somebody sent me an offer. It was pretty low. But they were buying four of them. And I said, I'm just going to go ahead and accept it. Um, Let's see. I might be pulling in for an extension this year. Yeah, one of my friends just said they just did an extension. Does it cost you money? You must have to pay like a penalty. Especially because I know I owe money. 
no elevator music. I know. Sorry, Charlie. I did. I forgot to set that up. I was um, right on the, like, I think I was running two minutes behind even starting this morning. So I didn't get a chance to set all that stuff up like I normally do. All right. So then look at this, a planner. Actually, it's not a planner. It's a notebook. This is one of those faith notebooks. So originally it was $14.99. I got it for $3.74. I passed up some of these things. Not notebooks, but just regular planners. I passed them up last week. Oh, so this has been. All of these are like sealed with this plastic thing that goes around it. And this one has been cut off. I'm just going to pull it. Just ripping that last page. Ah, crap. I just ripped that last page. Ah, crap. Uh, well, if they complain, we'll see. I'm not going to cancel it, but look, I just ripped this. Uh, can you see right here? I ripped that. I had some sticky stuff to it and it stuck to it when I ripped it off. But you can still see it. And it's extension of time to file, not time to pay. Right, but you don't know how much you owe until you file. They don't know. So I'm pretty sure, because I know like there's a penalty when you pay, there's a penalty. I'm assuming that your penalty would be a little bit higher because they must figure out like interest or something. I don't know. Uh, so let's see how much I sold this for. Come here, mouse. I sold it for 18. Oh, it must be going international because it costs $44. $44. And I sold it for $18.99. So I'm selling it for even higher than the original retail. But that's because you can't buy it anymore. So it becomes rare, discontinued. And if somebody really wants one, they'll pay more than retail. i take sticky, sticky goo off. i got to use my goo gone here. Take that off. But, yeah, it must be going international. So let's see which country it's going to. Hopefully Canada. I did cancel an order. Where was it going to? Brazil, I think. Oh, this is going to Peru. Oh, man. Okay, I got to check this out. I'm telling you, I've been screwed by some of these, you know, non-normal, not even normal. I don't know what the word I, I mean, but, you know, there's certain countries that you feel a little safer sending stuff to. All right, great. Bra oh, okay, that's me. <laughs> My automatic feedback. Oh, they've got a ton of orders in the last month. All right, so one. Oh, so a lot of them are from the same sellers. And they did the same thing six months ago. They bought a bunch from the same sellers. Wish I could see what they were buying. If it was all like planning stuff. Because who scams somebody over a faith planner, a faith notebook? All right, remember since 2012 in Peru. Okay, so that's good. So at least the country matches, right? I'm still like bought her over the Philippines thing I got screwed out of. I lost 100 bucks on that. The, the thing was more than $100, but you're only out your cost of goods in the shippings and the $20 fee that eBay charges. All right, so I think it, it looks legit. It looks legit. Nothing sending up too many red flags. So, I mean, just that gut feeling of, oh, I'm going to Peru. I think it's going to be okay. We'll see. We'll see. I'm adding insurance to this one because that bit me on the Philippines, which I usually always add insurance. But I didn't for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because I was like, so up in the air whether I should even send it because I was doing it live here with you guys and I think I just kind of got all wrapped up into that and didn't pay attention that I should have put insurance because I usually do for my international orders because it's like 80 cents it's wicked cheap wicked 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 cheap because you have no protections even if you send a priority there's like no priority mail nothing 
so this one will go oh, that reminds me remember how one time i did something and then i found out that i had to send it priority because of this of um pirate ship has that weird thing now okay let me see how do they purchase this hopefully it's not ebay international no it's not and they didn't pay any taxes no for some reason, I have some of mine are set up weird where I do that international, um, eBay international. So Mariella, let's go find you from Peru. Let's find you. We overestimate and send payments with extensions, then get a refund. That's good, Charlie. I don't see now. I'm really worried because I don't do quarterly payments. Last year was a fluke year. My sales were higher than normal. And this year, I'm not on target right now to even be close to last year. Like, oh, my God, my sales are so bad right now on, like, Amazon. And that's primarily what most of my stuff was last year. And um, somebody said that they're going to make you, that I'll probably be made to do quarterly payments. Well, don't make me do quarterly payments based on last year's sales because my sales are nowhere even going to be close to it as of right now. So that kind of concerns me that I could be sending them I don't know. I'm guessing probably 15,000 is what I'm going to owe this year that I'm going to send them 15,000 and then they're going to have to refund me probably 12. <laughs> they're sitting on my money and they don't pay me interest. Okay. Let's see. Here we are. Get rates. I'm thinking that I probably can do, um, like I don't, I've never filed quarterly before. But maybe there's a way like I can say, hey, wait a minute, but these are what my numbers are looking at right now. This is what my what my income's looking at right now. And be able to fight how much I have to pay. Probably need to get a CPA at some point. Um so let's do 13, 11, 2, and it weighs one pound. I'll just put in four ounces. I know. Okay, insurance. Let's tell you how much insurance is. Declared value of this is nineteen dollars. $19. But you're out the you're out the um cost of postage. That's what stinks the most. I'll tell you how much it is. But I gotta do a notebook. One, eighteen, nineteen, oh, nineteen, one pound, three ounces. Things the rest. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So 1884. Oh, so it's a dollar thirty-five to insure it. I did taxes for about five years for CPA form. Oh wow. Oh, okay. You can get penalized for not paying enough in each quarter and paying it all at end of year. Yeah. I mean, I know anytime I owe money, I know I have to I've paid a penalty. But it's never been big. But I've never had sales like it, like what I owe this this year. I've never had to pay this much. Never. Um, simple export rate. Okay, let's go. So it's 1884. Let's see how much this person paid and getting sidetracked here. They paid 25 bucks. Yeah. So I'm still making money on shipping. I'm gonna buy this label. And I think it's going to have me send it. I'm just looking i think it has me has me sending it to new york yeah it does okay so since it's going to new york um oh no it's too small i was gonna put it in a bag i'll just put it in this bag i'll just put it in one of these Instead of using my own envelope, I'll do this. Oh, you know what? I just noticed there's a price back here. It says $14.99. I'm not taking it off. It's already wrapped up. And it was only $4 more. And that's what happens when you buy a discontinued product. You pay more. I didn't see the $3.74 that I paid for it. Okay. Oh, I didn't print this. Um, how do you know how much you're supposed to pay quarterly, Lisa? 
I've never made enough to file. You've never made enough to even file? Woo. I don't even know what the limits are to not even have to file. Yeah, that's the part I don't get, Jennifer. I don't like to pay them any extra. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Jennifer, you have to do the math. If you owe under 1000 at the end of the year, you are safe. Ooh, yeah, no. Um, how come this didn't print? Don't tell me my print. Oh, it's probably frozen. I see my little icon down there saying... We have something to print, but we are not going to print it for you because we are a stupid Dymo and you're too cheap and you're too cheap to go and buy. Why did it start to print as I was undoing it? Why do you do that? Why do you do that, Dymo? Piece of crap, Dymo. I still will take this any day over doing a um doing a paper and taping it on but man it's a pain all right there's that one um sorry i'm this this stuff about taxes is exciting last year i think i only owed the state like 300 we got a federal refund who knows this year yeah so we don't usually owe the state anything so my husband's is all non-taxable here in New York. That's one thing. The only good thing really about New York is your retirement is not taxable. Uh, it's also dependent on each person's financial situation. I mean, like, is there a certain percentage you should ideally hold back to be sure? So I, this year, will be holding back. I've been holding back 25% of, and that's what I did last year. I have the money to pay my taxes. Uh, a 25% after every month when I get done and I say, oh, I've made $5,000. Well, all right, 25% of that $1,200, $1,250, I put into an account. Uh, so I'm all set. I'm covered. I'm just hoping it's not more than what I, I've projected it to be. And I was thinking about becoming an S-Corp. I know we've talked about that on here before. Um, but right now, as of right now, and the way my sales are, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go through the trouble of doing that because it's so much more of a paper paper headache. Uh, my sales just don't warrant becoming an S Corp right now. All right. So then I got this thing is on the top. I'll pull this out. This little purse. I bought these. I watched a video one time. This was probably three, four years ago about like purses and unusual ones and how they can do well. And this is more for like a kid, I think. I mean, it's small, as you can see, it's like smaller than my head. And, um, but it's a, it's a Kolf, K-O-L-F. And I have a blue one just like this, exactly like this. So I bought them both, and they both have sat in my thing. Finally sold it for $10. Free shipping. Goodbye. Adios. They sent me an offer, and I accepted it, and I couldn't hit accept quick enough. When you sit on something for three to four years, you just want it gone. I don't even care if I make money. I just don't want to lose money. If I'm going to lose money, I might as well just give it to the Salvation Army. I can't say Goodwill because I don't have one. No Goodwill. It's only three ounces. It's very, very thin, light, lightweight. I think it's vintage. Three. It's been, it's been listed so long. I have no measurements in here. Like nothing back before you even had to do all that stuff. I wonder what, it's, wonder what the background is on the picture because it's not my normal background either. It's the background even before I was doing the wood, the fake wood background. I don't use that anymore either. It's funny when you look at your backgrounds, if you've been selling for a while, you can kind of tell unless you take your stuff out and re-photograph it over time. You can tell how long something has been sitting up there based upon how you took pictures at the time. Good morning, Tio. Was up late doing Wally World inventory checkup on $2 backpacks. Ooh. You think backpacks will, I wonder if they'll come back and do good again this year because last year I still have backpacks I picked up and they didn't, nothing sold last year because people weren't going to school. They didn't need a backpack. So I'm hoping this year they do weller they do weller yeah they do weller <laughs> they do better than they did all right so let's see we got some paper 
Here it is right here. Uh, no idea what I paid for it unless there's a sticker on it. And of course there's not. Uh, this may have been an online purchase, actually. Sold it for $14.88. I don't know. I'm thinking I probably paid like 3 bucks for it. So it's Disney. And there's actually four princesses that are on it. These are the ones I'm telling you, like, pick up the princess. If you see Disney stuff, Happy Planner, pick it up. It does very well. Um, this is my last one. These, these sell pretty quickly, actually. I think they've only been up for less than a month. And this is my last one going out. Eight ounces, nine ounces. I'm going to check. Does that say? No, I don't think it's on Amazon. So you got to make sure I take it down from Amazon if it's cross-posted. It's not $4. Uh, I'm so confused by the whole tax thing. Oh, aren't taxes just ridiculous? They're so crazy. And, of course, put, throwing a business in it makes it what's is confusing. If you have just general personal taxes, like if you've got a normal job, uh, who was it the other day was saying they needed to find somebody to do their taxes? And I'm, oh, my, my friend. And I was like, no, you don't. You have just normal, you've got normal life stuff. You don't need to hire somebody. If all you have is two 1099s, or not 1099s, but W-2s or whatever they're called, like you don't need, you don't need to hire somebody. Simple. So simple. Um, but when you throw in wrenches, like businesses, that makes it so much more confusing. Um, but even businesses, I mean, if you're, depends on how big your business is and how convoluted. Now, my biggest thing right now is the time consuming putting everything together because I sell on so many platforms. Uh, so I sold this Iowa Buckeyes, no, Hawkeyes, <laughs> Iowa Hawkeyes. It's oh, Ohio Buckeyes. Iowa Hawkeyes long sleeve t-shirt, long sleeve. I was pulling these. I got a couple of these today that I sold t-shirts from the, from the batch I bought last spring. And I, of course I had bought a whole bunch of them and I was noticing that the totes are getting so low that I may be able to even combine two totes into one. And I think I started off with something like 10 totes at one point. And now I think I'm down to like three totes. So I'm very happy when these keep selling. They have, I mean, they weren't a really quick mover, but I got a dollar 30 into each of these. This one sold for 18.77. So I don't know. I feel pretty, I feel pretty happy with that purchase. I wish I could find more of deals like that. But since that liquidation show came out and so many people started buying liquidation lots. Yeah. My honey hole for liquidation has dried up. I was looking the other day because I haven't been looking a lot lately and there was hardly anything left on the site worth grabbing. You got to be quick, I guess. Find out when they drop stuff and then be right on it. Maybe I like picked up stuff just in time. Well, I don't think because I got my first box in and I went back and they still had more and I got I was able to get more of these shirts. Four twenty in shipping. TurboTax walks you right through it. Yeah, I use um, H&R Block, which I like. And then probably another reason why I do my own taxes, too, is since the invention of doing it through technology and through programs like that, it is so, I mean, they ask you, you know, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you live in another country? Did you reside in your state the whole year? Did you do, uh, did you have any foreign investments? Like it asks you all those questions. So you just say yes, no. And then it will pro prompt you with the types of forms you need to fill out. But with H&R Block, I get to go through uh, a channel through the military since my husband is a veteran. And we get even the, all of it. Like we get the federal, the state, and I even get to do the Schedule C for free, which is great. So I don't have to pay you to even file any of my taxes, which is nice. Um, anybody watch the Kentucky Derby? I saw the word bourbon made me, made me think of the Kentucky Derby. Imagine that. I watched it the other day because we had one of the guys that's here hunting, my my brother-in-law's friend. He was like, he came in the house at six and he goes, you got a piece of paper and pen or pencil or something? We're like, yeah, what do you, we're like, what, what do you need it for? So I know what size to get you. And um, he's like, I got to write down my bets because he was putting bets in for the Kentucky Derby. I was like, oh, that's tonight. I said, we'll have to watch it. 
Oh, this is the other shirt. It was a Georgia Bulldogs, just a black t-shirt. Everything came like this. Already like bagged up. It even has... Um, well, some of these I think may have had the Amazon SKU, but these don't. But all I did, which was so nice, is I scanned the UPC, pulled them up on Amazon, and I took their pictures. And that's what I put. I use stock photos on eBay. Uh, with my fingers crossed that I wouldn't get in trouble. And thankfully, I have not gotten in trouble for them. But I didn't want to have to OB each of these and do all that. So it was nice being able to do that. Yeah. Oh, I thought of you, Holly, being down there. It was. It looked like great weather. Oh, my gosh. The horse that won, though. It felt kind of bad. It's funny because normally when I watch the race, I'm always like, why is the owner getting all of the attention, right? It's the trainer, the jockey. It's like all these people that are doing all the work. This time around, the owner got like hardly any attention because it was a record breaker for the trainer, uh, his most wins. And then it was like four wins for the jockey. So they were like getting all the attention and the owner was kind of shoved off to the side. <laughs> And then the owner, um, the girl, the woman that was with the owner, I know they all wear those hats, but literally her hat was like this big and like this tall. I thought, lady, you are blocking it so nobody near you can see anything. Like it was like, it was huge, huge hat. I was like, that's an inconsiderate hat. That's all I kept thinking. I was like that is inconsiderate. Or is it the bigger the hat, the, the more wealth you have? I don't know. I just thought, I mean, it's kind of cool, the whole hats. I should find out what the history is on those, why that ever started. It's got to be something from England because they wear those type of hats. You know, like at the weddings, the, the royal weddings and stuff, they all have those fancy hats on. This is going to Las Vegas. All right, so this is the T-shirt that I was, I think I was selling it for 18. He sent an offer, I think, for 10 I say he, yes, Roderick, and I countered at 15, and then he countered at either 12 or 13, and I was like, listen, you got a dollar 30 into it, you've had, them, you've had them for a year, just sell it, so I accepted it, I really would have lot. I mean, it's free shipping, so I really feel like $15 for a t-shirt with free shipping is a, a brand new shirt is a good price. But he didn't, and I didn't want to take the chance of, of losing it out, losing out in the sale, right? If you're a good negotiator, that's one thing that's so good, even when you're on eBay. Like, if you're a buyer on eBay and somebody has offers on, and if you know how to play your numbers right, does anybody watch that show 25 words or less? It kind of makes me think of that, where you got to think the step ahead of what's the person going to counter. So make sure that you always keep leaving that room to get to the point. So I went, I went up, wanted to counter 13, right? Hoping he's going to take 13 for him to come back and do 12 and not be okay with 12. So, I mean, it's just, you just have to kind of play with it. That's why I did 15. That way he would at least come back with another thing from 10. Um, all right. So then I got, and you hope that the buyer really wants it where they're like, Ooh, if I don't accept 15, I could lose it. Do I, am I willing to pay 15? So it's kind of like this little dance you got to do with your buyer or seller, depending on what foot, foot you're on. Um, so this is again from, this is so weird that I got another one. So my third one from these things, this is a Denver Nuggets um, zip up hoodie. Is it a hoodie? I think so. Yeah, it is a hoodie. Uh, so yeah, Denver Nuggets. This one's a size small. So again, somebody gives you an offer on a size small I'm like take it uh they this is so weird so you know most of my items end with 88 88 or 87 so like 1988 well i was selling this one for more i don't remember how much but they sent me an offer for 1988 i was like that's really weird so i accepted it because 1988 oh this actually i have two dollars and 73 cents into this one but i'm like yeah i'll take that let's see where it's going it's going to illinois Farmer City. And they're a Denver Nuggets fan. All right, this is first class. Even better. I wasn't sure if it was going to be heavy. Trainer and jockey is big deal. Sometimes there are multiple owners on a horse. Well, you know that horse? All right, 13 ounces. I got to remember that. That horse, they only paid $1,000 for that horse at an auction. 
thousand dollars and it won the Kentucky Derby. You know how much that horse is worth now? That's great. They kept saying that the horse doesn't know how much it was worth. It did its best. I just hope they treat the horses right. I live in Amish territory and my my daughter hates the um, Amish around here because she thinks that they don't treat their horses properly. She's a very much a, an animal rights activist, my daughter is. But I don't ever see them abusing their horses. There's only one time I thought, I went, I drove by and I saw the horse was tied up to a tree in the, it was so hot that day in the sun and the tree was a really small tree. Didn't really give it shade and it was raining. It was hot and it was raining. I drove by, went and did my shopping, drove back by and it probably had been over an hour, probably more like two hours. And the horse was still tied up to that same tree. And it was and like no grass or anything for it to eat. And I don't even know if the thing was long enough for it to even put its head all the way down. That was the only thing I was like, oh, I feel bad for that horse. But other than that, I don't know. They seem, they seem like they treat them okay. They seem, they're good people. At least the ones around here. Uh, let's see. What's, I don't know where I got this from. So let's put this. Well, maybe this is Makari. Yeah. All right. Then I got this. This is Makari. We're jumping around because I'm just, as I grab stuff, I'll tell you where I got it. Uh, so I sold this one on Makari, low calico, critters. Now, I think I picked this up in January when Walmart was having that big toy clearance. And I don't know how much I paid for it. So I don't have it in front of me. No, I don't have my sold page. I got to remember to keep that open. Actually, let me open it because I know I have some other stuff that I'm going to tell you about. Unsold. I'm so, oh no, I don't have it in front of me also because I have three more of these left. So I'd have to go to my actives. I'm not going to take that time, but I don't know. I didn't pay much for it. Maybe five bucks. If even that, I doubt it. Um, and I sold this on Macari and it sold for, why is everything so difficult to find today? My numbers, $28, 20 bucks, shipping fee, selling fee, processing fee. They got three fees, a shipping fee, a selling fee, and a processing fee. They break it down just like um, Etsy does that same thing. Now, I'm pretty sure that I have a label for this. Because I have been doing Mercari. You have made a sale. Congratulations. Print shipping label. Yeah. Yeah. Got a shipping label. Let's see if I put it in as first class. I did. Okay. So let's find a way to ship you first class. Um, I think I might get away with being able to bubble wrap that and just poly bag it. Actually, I don't think it's something I have to worry about getting squished. I don't think so. So I, I got a um, travel time chit chat coming up. Its main topic is about niches. And whether you should niche down or not niche down and learning about niches. And that's what my rant was. I call it a rant because I was just blabbing away for a half hour. It was a short travel time. Shorter than some of my other ones. I got to edit that afterwards and put that up. I probably won't edit much out of it. Such a late. I hate editing videos. Like I hate that so much. Let's see. Just trying to get a bag here. An envelope. Um, the thing about editing videos is it's such a time suck, right? The whole time I'm thinking, I'd rather be taking pictures and listing and making money. Right? Editing a video does not make me anything. Putting the video up makes me pennies. So I don't make a lot on YouTube. It's enough to cover my stream yard, which is nice. And a few other things, but it's not it's not a huge money maker um, right now. I mean, I don't know if it ever will be because I don't know if I'm gonna ever grow to that point. I don't think I ever want to grow to that point. Ten 
10, 10, 10 ounces. Where was this? Macari. Okay, so yeah, it still falls within first class. So I'll print this on my brother. Oh, my stomach is growling. What time is it? 9.30, you're growling at 9.30? Why are you so loud already? I had some yogurt for breakfast. Um, so I was talking to my friend about this guy that was over about the Kentucky Derby because he put some beds in. He didn't end his, I think he was betting on horse number 19, soup and sandwich. <laughs> He's like, if soup and sandwich wins, we're going to have a party. Uh, so when we all got done and I said, oh, if you would have won the trifecta, which I don't even know, I don't bet on this type of stuff, which kind of got, kind of got me excited. But, uh, he goes, um, I said, if you would have won the trifecta on a $2 bet, you would have won $1,600. I said, he goes, I've done that before. I've won, I've won the trifecta. I said, you did, you have to bet, you have to guess who's going to come in first, second and third. And he said, he's done that before. But he only did a 10 cent, 10 cent bet. And I'm like, you can bet 10 cents? What? Now, now you're talking. Now I'll put some bets on horses. I can do 10 cent bets. And um, he also said he's done a Grand Slam before. So he goes to Saratoga Raceway in New York. And he he did, there was six, um, I think these are right the right numbers, six races. You have to guess who's going to come in. So you guess a race for each race or guess a horse for each race. Your horse for each race has to come in first, second, or third for the first five races. But then when you're six race, the horse you pick has to come in first place. So it's all different horses for each race, but you got to choose. And he did that. He won all five and then he won that six one, got the grand slam. Imagine that. But when you're betting like, 10 cents. I don't know how much he made from that. I think he said, no, there was another one. He, he did some bets and he realized that he had done the same horse on two bets. He'd done like 10 bets and he did the same horse twice and he didn't mean to or the same combination or whatever ended up being it won. whatever he did. He got it right. So he got twice the price. So that's pretty cool. Good morning, Christy. All caffeinated. I don't have, I haven't had coffee at all today. No cafe. Okay, that's this one. Sorry that Macari's take so long because I gotta take the stupid labels on. Oh, what a pain. All right, so check in on Macari. Let's do the salt and pepper shakers. Let me go back and say that I shipped it. Confirm shipment. Yes, I shipped it. And then I got some buffalo. Salt and pepper shakers, which I just showed you showed you guys these last week, I think. I'm just going to say, no, that's not confirmed shipment yet until I actually put it in a box in case I drop it and break it. So look, remember these guys? I showed them to you. Well, when I was taking their picture, which I didn't notice when I... Wait a minute. That looks bigger. I'm gonna have to look at these pictures because I feel like this looks bigger than the pit than the pit than the picture I took. There's a chip in it. I just want to check my pictures here. Did I show this big of a chip? I don't feel like I did. Oh, I did show it. Oh, see, but you can't, you can see it, but you got to be looking for it. Ah, uh, I didn't notice this big. I did say um, both are pre-owned and one has a leg that has been repaired, but I did not mention this chip because I didn't see, how am I not seeing these? All right, this leg, right, this back leg right here, I'm going to put it right there. See that chip right there out of it? But his leg. This right here, I don't know if you can see that thing right there. That's actually a glob of glue. I don't know if you can, if it would get better. But it had, so this leg had broken off at one time and has been repaired. 
I didn't notice that when I bought them. Nor when I showed you guys them did I notice it. But when I was taking pictures, I noticed it. So I did put it in the pictures. And when I look, you can see in the picture the, the chip and the crack. And that's where it's right where it's been repaired. Right there is where it's been repaired. This is where you can see the crack goes right through the middle of that crack, chip, whatever. Hey, good morning, Erin. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't mention the chip. I hope it's okay. I only mentioned that the, there was a crack and had been repaired. Hope I'm all right with that. Now it makes me nervous. Because I didn't see that. But they're salt and pepper shakers, by the way. I mean, if you're going to use this as a salt and pepper shaker, you're unless it was a poor repair, you don't even notice it. So I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. I'm sending them. I'm not going to cancel the order because because I didn't clarify it clear enough. Um, and it was Macari. Macari is really, really tough at times to get a refund or a return or anything. Because literally they could say, oh, well, I didn't see the whatever. And Makari will be like, oh, she says in there it was damaged. You're good. Uh, she'll, he'll tell, they'll tell me I'm good. I don't have to worry about it. They're, they're just really good like that. I would say Amazon is the worst with returns. eBay would probably be second. And then, like, Poshmark, Macari, they're so simple. I've never had to deal with a return on Etsy, so I don't know what they're like. Hey, I'm thinking I'm going to use one of my new boxes today. My new boxes I got, which I love. I love boxes. I don't know, I get so excited over boxes. No Holly, who's been quiet in here today. Oh, maybe you haven't been quiet. I see you up there. You did talk about the jockey. Um, they, uh... I, do. I get so excited over boxes. You know you're a reseller when you get excited over boxes. And bubble wrap. Somebody giving you air bubbles. So I wrap them each individually, and then I'm going to wrap them together into another big thing of bubble, bubble stuff. So. so how's the weather been in everybody's neck of the woods? Because I'm just telling you guys, we got snow. We got snow over the weekend. Um, oh, I did see. I wanted to read this comment up here by Doyle a while ago. I says, um, if should niche or not, I think it depends what you think the next few years will be. More buyers online or in the store. That's about to niche or not. And then who mentioned something about eating pancakes? Where do, I thought I just saw somebody say something about eating pancakes. Because my stomach's hungry. So I want to know who was who said that so I can be mad at you. Charlie, I may or may not be eating pancakes on a stick. Charlie, I'm hungry. You know what? Have you guys ever had the McGriddles from McDonald's? God, it's probably been six months since I've had one, but oh my gosh. They have pancakes. And they put maple syrup little like nuggety things in it. And then they put it on a griddle. And then they put sausage in between them and you eat it oh my god it's so good it's so good oh, i got it i got a message on ebay let's see see if it's somebody that wants to cancel before i ship it no me gusta what does that mean who speaks spanish no me gusta what's that mean that's what they just sent me on those um those Paw Patrols. Can you see? No me gusta. Does that say I don't want, I don't like? I don't like. Well, then why the hell did you buy it, you dumb? It's too bad. I already, I already printed off a label. I'm not canceling it. I'm not canceling it. I'm, I'm ticked off right now over that. I don't like. Well, then don't buy it, you bonehead. I have to cancel the label. I go through that whole problem. If you don't like it, then you know what? You'll be paying $3 to mail it back to me. I'm kind of in that mood today. Because we started to talk about returns. 
And it made me think about the stupid returns I've been getting on Amazon lately. My sales are so bad on Amazon. And then I get such crappy. Got another message. Probably from the same person. Let's see what he says this time. Okay. Yo no quiero el articulo. <laughs> What's that mean? Hold on. Come on. There you go. What's that mean? Yo no quiero el artico. Means probably, I don't want this item. I'm figuring artico is probably item, right? I don't want this item. I don't want it. It's probably because we just got notified that I shipped it. It's probably going to be a scam. Because he's probably thinking, oh, okay, I do this, where I wait until they ship it. Then I say I don't want it. And then they've already shipped it. And then I can get some type of uh, scam. I'll cancel it. Refund my my thing. All right, and bubble wrapping. Bubble, bubble. Toil and trouble. Got my baby in here. So quite the commotion for salt and pepper shakers. But I think they're still going to be first class, so it's just going to be good. But they're in between bubble wrap, air bubble. I'm going to see what that guy's name is. I can pull his package after this. I'm not going to send it to him. He's that persistent. He's just going to be a pain in my rear. I'm going to change his name to hemorrhoid. Oh, so this is nine ounces. I already got a label for you. Let me find you. Let me find you. Vintage salt and pepper shakers. Print shipping label. So you may be a little higher than I know. Because I think nine ounces would have been the higher rate anyhow. Yeah, 15 Oh, Makari, please make it so I don't have to go through all this trouble for printing a label. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use one of these. Amazon, you can return for whatever reason you want, right? Yes! Or just be like they do on eBay and say, I didn't, just, didn't match description. I've been getting, I my sales have been so low on Amazon. And my normally when I get returns, I'm just like, okay, you know, like, Whatever. My sales will absorb it. But when your sales are not very high and you're getting returns, it hurts so much more. Which is why people on a lot of the Facebook groups will complain when they get like eBay returns. Because if you're only selling one or two items a week and you get something returned, it stings. It stings a lot more than if you're sending out uh, 60 items a week. And that's the way I've been feeling over the week. I got three returns on Amazon. And that was after last week getting that stupid error. Uh, maybe it was the week before I got that leaf blower. And they said that it didn't come with the battery. I'm like, oh, shit, it came with the battery. It's brand new in the box from Lowe's. I've sold quite a few of them. The battery wasn't taken out of it. You stole the battery and returned the, it without it. And so... Um, People do that. They'll take things and then return it, or they'll send you back their used item. Being like, oh, I don't like this hand scanner. I just looked at it, made me think of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a new hand scanner and I'm gonna return my old one. I put my bag right here for me to put my boxes in, and I didn't I didn't do that. So at some point I gotta do that. Uh, all right, so let me go find, let me just see, Amazon, you bought this eight months ago? No problem, you can return it, right? So I was crafting with my mom when I got one of my returns. It was um, a pair of nylons, Spanx nylons. And I said, oh, she probably got married on Saturday, wore them, and then returning them. And uh, I told my mom, I'm like, jokingly, because I wouldn't do this, because I... Just my moral compass is better than most most people that shop on Amazon. <laughs> now, nah, there's a lot that shop on Amazon that don't do this. So I shouldn't say most. Just the ones that shop at my store. Um, but 
I said to, to her, because we were painting, I said, you know what? We should buy all our paint supplies on Amazon for now on. We can use up the paint and then at the end say, it didn't match description. It wasn't the shade that we thought or something. Return an empty bottle of paint. Uh, you can do that. And they they went blank twice. So um, I had a, um, a friend of a friend uh, I was talking to over the weekend. And I was, I had gotten my other, another return came in. And I was like, oh, and he's like, what's up? And I'm like, got a return on Amazon. He goes, oh, you sell on Amazon? And I said, yeah. So I was telling him about what I do. And he says, oh, he did something similar. He bought, he needed a piece to a tool he has. He couldn't buy, the manufacturer wasn't sending them out because of COVID and everything. So he went on Amazon, bought the whole thing. Because a lot of times, you know, if you can't find your small piece, you buy the whole thing, bought the whole thing, and then sent back his used one that was broken back to Amazon. And I said, don't do that. <laughs> so many people think they're just screwing Amazon. And you know what? Amazon doesn't pay taxes. Jeff Bezos is, you know, yeah. So screw them. But don't screw the small sellers like us. I said, you know, you could have been sending that to somebody like me who now has got a leaf blower without a battery. It's got nylons that probably have been worn, has a puzzle that was already probably put together because that's one of the returns was for a puzzle. And what was the, the other item? It's just funny when they say it doesn't match descriptions and you're like, it absolutely matches the description. Don't tell me it doesn't. Uh, okay, so then we got a sticker book, which I think this, speaking of Amazon, might have been an Amazon sale. Yes. This is an Amazon sale. It's a, a teacher sticker book. I'm going to take the sticker off and then I'll show you guys it a little closer. In case somebody's new to the channel watching, you want to know what I'm selling. Um, I guess planners is one of my niches, I would probably say, and stuff that goes along with planners. Oh, see you later, Christy. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. I know my show goes for a long time, so I know people. Can't always stay for the whole thing. So I appreciate anybody stopping by any part of it. Um, so this is a teacher sticker book, and they're all stickers related to, like, you know, school vacations and grading papers and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's 1,192 stickers. It's a lot of stickers. So this one I paid. So I paid. Oh, I pulled that off. It says I paid 1080. So it must have been 999. I think this one sat a different price on it. I feel like it wasn't that high that the sticker I just took off. And I can't tell you because I rolled it into a little tiny ball. But I sold it for $27.88. Now, I'm surprised I even listed this for $27.88. These normally sell for $19.99. And that's normally what I sell them for in $19.88. So I'm surprised I got $27.88 for it. And that must be what I po I posted it as because I don't have a repricer on that um, on my FBM on Amazon. So this was an, an Amazon. I cross post some of the stuff. If it's already listed on Amazon, then I cross post it. But if it's not listed, I don't cross post it. Uh, let's see. A lot of booksellers are getting scammed on Amazon from one, one buyer buying expensive books in great shape and returning really bad condition ones. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. I watch so many Amazon return videos, people buying pallets. I'm like so gross. Use razors. Yes. Spit up baby cloths. Amen to that, Anissa. Absolutely. I watch where they're buying like liquidation pallets. Yeah. And they're they're like, oh, these are Amazon returns. And they say, like, just because the box is sealed, don't you gotta open it and look because it's probably it's probably used now i have i have like when i buy from lowe's if it looks like because i have bought a return what was it i bought one year last year i bought something that was a return i bought a whole bunch of them and one of them was a return item and those i will make sure i look inside the box and i'll sell it as new other open box or something like that if i verify everything's in it because you want to make sure yeah uh, because even people do, there are people who will do that to Lowe's. 
right? We turn something to Lowe's and be like, oh, I bought this, decided I didn't need it or whatever. And had I know that I don't like, cause I, I check for stuff like that. I check the ceiling. I make sure every, the box looks like, you know, all the boxes looked around alike because maybe he did get it and it didn't have a battery in it, but I highly doubt it because I check for that type of stuff when I, I don't open the box and check, but I check to make sure that it doesn't look like it was something that was ever used. Amazon says you have expired and been logged out. Why is that Amazon? I really have to log in like this. What are you doing to me? You're making me re reweigh my thing. Eight ounces. So yeah, so if you ever are buying from anybody like that, always just double check the box and make sure it's legit. It hasn't been used. Not very often I'll buy from a big box store, go in a store and buy something, get home and find out it was used. It's very, very rare that that happens. So maybe they have a good QC program that goes on themselves. So the one that I bought that was used, was that Weed Whackers? I'm trying to think of what it was. It was something like leaf blowers, but it wasn't a leaf blower. It may have been a pressure washer or something. I don't know. I picked up quite a few of them. But, um, I mean, there was a sticker on it, so you knew it was a returned item. But if you're going to be selling it on eBay... Even if it's a return and you can check it out and see, as long as it wasn't, you know, broken, like it wasn't working. I would think if it was returned because it wasn't working, they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't resell it. This, so this is going to somebody at a high school. Kind of makes me, I feel bad. I kind of make, makes me want to just send it to them for free. I, I respect teachers so much in what they do. Makes me want to be like, I'm going to refund you all your money. Maybe if it was on eBay. I don't even trust Amazon if I was to do something like that. So I sold this is on Amazon too. These are dashboards. They're called dashboards that you put inside a happy planner. There's three of them. This was $3.97. And I sold this for $17.50. Oh, some of these. No, actually I got this for $2.58. So it must have had a percentage off on top of the clearance. Sometimes they do that at the store. Stuff will be on clearance, and then they'll say, oh, an additional 20% off clearance items today, which I like. Give me the Ds, which is discounts. Had to correct that in case somebody else was thinking that it stood for something else. Oh, uh, let's see. I love it. I enjoy the chit-chat. Gotta go get stuff done today. Oh, bye, Charlie. Oh, no, Christy said that. Sorry. <laughs> I thought Charlie had said that. I'm like, Charlie, you are, have been a bad boy anyhow telling me you're eating pancake stuff. Pancake on a stick. What is that anyhow? Pancake on a stick. Did you put it on a stick yourself? Or do you can you buy it like in the freezer department and you microwave it and eat it on a stick? I can't even imagine. Delish, probably. Right now, I would eat it on a stick. I would eat it on a plate. I would eat it in handheld form. I'm hungry. Oh, this is only four ounces this time. Uh, I wonder if I put cardboard in it last time. I think I might do that again. I think I'm going to waste an envelope for the betterment of my customer or Amazon's customer, right? That's what Amazon says. Um, what do we got here? What do we got? Are you wide enough? Uh, you're not wide enough. I'm searching for scrap. This might be wide enough. My car is right outside the window because I gotta go out after this and empty it out from some stuff that from my mama's. Um, on Thursday I shared a link to a Facebook group. Thank you to those who joined that Facebook group. Very much appreciate it. 
if you are not sure what I'm talking about, my mother and I started a new kind of venture. We have been doing some crafts and stuff since um, probably about October, November time frame. We started doing it on a pretty regular basis. My father passed away like three and a half years ago. And since then, my my mom has been you know, trying to get back to a new normal. And then, of course, COVID hits and she's older. She's got some issues that put her into the high risk group. So she didn't go out or do much at all during during the last year or more, even more, really, because even pretty much since my dad passed. So she started doing crafts. We went on a, what I'm doing this weekend, going to my sister's, we did a craft weekend. And she continued doing the crafts after the weekend we got together on October 25th last year. And I only do was doing it every now and then, but she kept making it and making it and making it. And I'm like, we live in a very, very small rural area. And she was putting on Facebook Marketplace, but you're only going to get a few people who are interested in something you make and you have a hundred of them because you love making them and i said all right i'll you know i'll post them but i mean i needed to get my area i didn't know where how to store her stuff like i don't have the space to take in all of her stuff she was making um but i know that it's therapeutic for her so i want to continue to help her and support her and all that through that it helps it helps her with that um so on that group I do want to put a post in because when I've been posting it online, right, I look at comps and I post and I price it accordingly. I should have cut this. It doesn't fit in that stupid envelope. Let me get a bigger one. But she sells it locally for almost breaking even. So something she would put on for like $6, you know, I'm putting it online for like $20 because it goes for $20 online. Um, but in that group, if anybody ever sees anything where I'm posting, uh, my prices are negotiable. But my if my mother's pricing it and putting it on, her prices are non-negotiable because she's already probably losing money from her items. So it's all home decor if anybody's interested in it. It's called um, Two Birds Home Decor. So I got pictures to take of that stuff we did this weekend. And then I have, okay, now I got to do six ounces. And then I have um, a bunch of like flower arrangements and stuff like that, that I took from her house and brought home here. Cause I'm going to put it on. So it's nationwide. Cause she lives on Facebook, but it's just local. Ah, all of those. Printer paper. So now I'm gonna change my printer. So she's yeah. So she is um. So I got stuff. So if anybody needs a gift for their mother for Mother's Day, let me know. I got you covered. Do you want to? My mother does flower arrangements. They're really really pretty. Sometimes the pictures don't show how nice they really are. She's got one that I really, really, really like. Uh, I said, if you don't sell it, I'm going to take it. Um, I'm looking for my ink or my paper. I mean, I think you're in here. Oh, yeah. XL labels. And I see, Charlie, you're telling me all about your sandwich here. I'm going to read that here in a second. Here's my box of labels. Good thing I reordered some. Usually when I get down to like the second to last one I'll order. Which these days, 500 labels will last me a while. Quarter four, they didn't last me long. Cause like, um, like Eric who sent out 100, 100 packages. During quarter four on Mondays, I was sending over 100, sometimes 200. Now, those videos, I can't, I'm, if it gets to that point this year, I won't be able to be doing live packing videos. Because you got to focus and get that done. It takes so long. Hopefully, I got everything I ordered. 
since I'm just barely opening the box from probably two months ago. You know, people are like, I can't believe this, this got delivered this got delivered a month ago, and they're just barely telling me now something wasn't right with it. I'm like, you've never gotten a box and not opened it right away? Yeah. I just opened that one. And it's been a while since I've ordered these. Probably even longer than two months. But just probably January I ordered some more. So it was a Bob Evans sausage and blueberry pancake-like corn dog. God, that sounds so good. They used to have things like that. They probably still have them with swans. We used to get swans when we lived in Vermont. And they had these little tiny ones that were so good. I would get those for the kids because you could just nuke them and they could grab them and even put, wrap them up in a paper towel and eat them on the bus and stuff. Yeah, that was good. Your mom is very talented. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, it's just, it's so therapeutic for her. And I said to her this weekend because we're, we Saturday and Sunday we did stuff and I said I really I enjoy the time I'm spending with her making this stuff and I said but if stuff doesn't keep, sell what are we going to do like we got to come up with what we're going to do so either we're going to start making something else or I don't know because we enjoy doing it but it doesn't do any good if it's not selling oh hey goodbye mom I didn't know you were still around as I'm talking about you hopefully you don't mind me talking about you and good morning, Beth. Reseller Robo in the house. Plus, you have to factor in the supply chain interruptions when ordering supplies. Yeah, that's why I ordered so so long ago on these. Yeah, definitely. And I was who I was listening to somebody the other day. Oh, I think it may have been Lonnie from um, Garage Flips or Shed Flips. I think he doesn't have Garage Flips anymore. He changed the name. Um, he was saying that when he orders. Because they're talking about like space and how you got to find space. Cincinnati Picker and him have a show called Guys Without Jobs. And they were, uh, Cincinnati Picker is buying a, I don't know if it's a warehouse. Sounds like maybe it's an office space or I don't know, something. I don't know. But he, um, they were talking about it and they were just talking about supplies and how you have to almost have your own separate shed just for your supplies, just for your boxes and bubble wrap and you got to have your labels and your tape and all that stuff. I mean, I got that whole, you know, you can't see it from here, but I have one whole section over there that's just full of just supplies. That takes up, it would probably take up um, a bedroom. Like if I was to make that into a room, it would be like a bedroom size, 10 by 10, probably at least. Good morning, CW. The flower arrangements can be donated to hospice patients. I know that does not recoup your cost, but it's an option. Yeah, Lord, you know, we talked about that because she bought, she made a ton of those gnomes. And she sold, I don't know. I don't know if she's still here, but I'm thinking she's probably sold at least 15 of them locally. But again, like we are, I mean, the, the, the idea that she even sold 15 surprises me because our population around here is just not, it's not big. And um, and that she sold that many, but I'm gonna end up putting those online. But I told her because she's she made like a hundred of them, and I said, you know, you could bring them. Somebody mentioned I think a nursing home. Yeah, Holly, you just mentioned it. Maybe donate to local nursing homes. Um, I told her that with the gnomes, but right now the nursing homes are not taking our local ones are not taking donations because of COVID, taking anything like that in, which stinks. So I don't know the the hospice. I don't know if that would be different because I even thought about somebody one time on here mentioned Meals on Wheels, and they could put it on the tray for like Meals on Wheels or something, which that would be really nice for Mother's Day. That would be nice. I don't know how we would. We I mean that's the last second to try and coordinate that. And we're leaving on Thursday. Mom and I are leaving to go to the the border of Vermont and New Hampshire. I say we're going to Vermont, but I really always, it's more like I'm going to New Hampshire because it's right on the border. And I'll be shopping in New Hampshire, which I like because it's tax-free shopping. Uh, so next I sold these moleskin notebooks. I think they're called notebooks. Plain, plain journals. This is a two-pack. As you can see, there's two red ones. Um, this sold on Amazon. I paid $7.99 and they sold for $18.94. Let's 
Let me grab a thing here. Oh, I don't know if that can fit. Yeah, it'll fit. Yeah, it's just nice. This it's enjoyable. Um also last night watching videos on morel mushrooms, getting all excited for that season is coming up. And I said to my husband, let's find out if we last year we froze our morels. And so we were watching videos on hydrating them. And I said, you know, now that we because last year was our first year harvesting them, and I don't eat mushrooms, it's only him. And so I said, depending on how many we find this year, because now that we know a little bit more of what to look for and where to find them, that I'm thinking about rehydrating them. I was looking up on eBay to see how much morels sell on eBay, and you can get a good penny for them. So I thought maybe I would do that or even just maybe even put them on Facebook Marketplace. The problem with Facebook Marketplace is that, oh, this are 15.8 ounces, this is, is that they know where you, um, they know where you live and you wouldn't want them to come onto your property if they know that possibly that's where you're finding them to, to get them. People, mushroom hunters are crazy like that and they'll break the law. We also have a lot of wild leeks, a lot of them. But those I don't think I could sell. I would have to like overnight them with ice packs. Is there a sticker price on these? Did I take the sticker price off? That's got me worried. I don't think I, I don't think I turned it on the other side and looked. Damn it, I gotta waste another envelope. I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. I cannot take the chance and send this with a sticker. There goes another envelope. Speaking of cost of uh, supplies and goods, ah, oh, there's no sticker. I had to take that chance. I'll reuse that one on an eBay one, <laughs> but I won't use it on ones. Yeah, there's no sticker. Better safe than sorry. I had a friend that picked mushrooms and she would go to restaurants and ask chefs to buy them. Why did this print three? I printed my label and three blank ones. Um, Christopher. Uh, and asked to make good money. Yeah. Um, we don't have those type of restaurants. We have diners. Like we have like greasy spoon pit diners around here. Uh, we don't even have like, I mean, we have some McDonald's and a Burger King and Arby's, but yeah. Oh, the printer couldn't print untitled document. Well, it printed it, but it printed it. Another printing label error. Let me make sure, Carolyn, make sure that was the right one. What are you doing? It's not lined up correctly. It's not lined up. I'm going to go back and make sure that I, that label was for the right order. And it wasn't for the previous one. Oh my gosh. Why is it not even showing on my shift? Why is it showing orders from seven days ago and not what I just shipped. Oh, because it's in the wrong order. <laughs> All right, Carolyn, yeah, it's going to the right person. This is not lined up. How do I? Oh, now I got to do surgery on my uh, Dymo here. So hold on, folks. Hold on, folks. Oh, you know what? Oh, these labels don't have the. Oh, I don't like these labels. I don't think I'm going to be able to use them. I don't have anything else to use. But on the Dymo, it has to have, from what I understand, it has to have that little um, doohickey. Oh, it was in Vermont. Yes, nice restaurants in Vermont. That's where I moved from. I miss Vermont. So it has to have, on these labels, there's no like little holes over here. And I think the Dymo picks up and registers that, and that's when it knows the length of the thing. 
Oh my gosh. So all this whole, all these labels may not be. See, that's my problem for waiting so long to open it. I could have returned them because it is Amazon, you know. Yes. Damn, Sam. I'm not going to really use these. Well, you know what? I can use them in a zebra probably, right? I need to just get a new printer. I'll have to buy a new printer instead of buying new labels. Na label notches. Yeah, Tio, I don't have them. Oh. Why did that have to happen right now? And I have no backup labels. All right, so this is um, the Diet Detox. So uh, I sent these to Amazon FBA. And they didn't sell, so I pulled them back, and they are trickling out the door. I put them FBM, and they're they're selling here and there. Not a fast seller, but they're selling. I uh, bought this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I sold it for nine dollars. So not even a big dollar amount, seller-wise. At the time, they must have looked okay. I went to bottom. Or I didn't know how to read Keepa. Because I haven't sourced tree um, books from the Dollar Tree in a couple years. It was good when I was starting out, though. Now my back can't stand standing there that long. My out-of-shape body definitely interferes with my sourcing abilities. Like, even going to garage sales, my left knee is, like, shot. And my right knee, I can't kneel on either of my knees. So to get down on, like, when if they have stuff not on tables, but it's all in boxes or on stuff, like, I have to just bend over. I can't, like, squat down because it hurts my knees. It makes it so hard. Okay, so I can do media mail or first class. Let's do media mail. They have bound printed matter as an option. They're getting it media mail. It's going to Rock, Rhode Island. Okay. Yes, my printer is in an error state. Gosh, darn it. Yep. Back to... It's not going to print it like that. Ah. All right, edit shipment. I got to reprint it on my reprint label. Damn it. On my brother. Ah, oh, back to old age, old, uh, old style labeling. Did you unplug it? Um, I didn't, I did not unplug it, but I don't think it's going to make a difference because it's not picking up the pa the labels right. I'll try the unplugging method. I don't think that's going to make a difference. It's sucking the paper all the way back. It's, it's put, put out two, pa two labels. It just sucked one all the way back in. All right. It just reprinted Carolyn's plus two blank labels. It didn't, it didn't print the label. I just told it to print. No bueno. Oh, make sure I cancel that order for those loot bags. I think I remember to do that. Oh, yeah. See, Dymo printing error. Gave me another little nice little message saying printer is messed up. Yeah, it's because those labels don't work. What the heck? I guess I can leave them a review. At least telling other people don't buy it if you're using it for a Dymo. So it doesn't work. This does not look professional for Amazon. Oh well, it is what it is. Oh, 
I'm going to go through a lot of tape doing this. I guess i got to order some um, labels today. I swear I'm missing about 100 listings and don't know what happened to them. What? That is crazy. Did you check your unsolds? I mean, how would they have? They would have just ended because they don't have ended listings anymore. Wow. How many listings do you have, Beth, on eBay? I'm assuming you're talking about eBay. How many listings do you have? And then to lose 100 of them. That's weird. Do you, um, was there anything similar to the listings? I wonder if they took them down for a reason. Yikes. That's a lot of work to try and recover. I should be around 1,300 and I'm around 1,200. Huh. Do you, by chance, uh, cross-post anything to Bonanza? Because you could go to Bonanza and take a look, see how many are on Bonanza, and see if the numbers, this, and maybe look and see the difference. Um, all right, where are we at? Where are we at? Let's do let's do Mickey Mouse next. Little, my little sum sum, Mickey, Mickey sum sum. I got these for like, I don't know. 49 cents or something. Some crazy low price. I'm going to go right in here. Oh, I should put the label on first. He's going to be difficult to put on. All right, one ounce. He's my last one. 39 cents I paid for him. Let me see if I can find more of those. Post office. Oh, I don't have very many left. I only got two left. What did I say he was? One ounce. And it's six. Three, six. I gotta put the label on and then. No, I quit Bonanza. Oh, okay, shoot. That was one thing when uh, there was that whole faux pas going on with the pictures being lost like three years ago on eBay. Thankfully, I had, could go to Bonanza and get my pictures. I really got to find some white paper. <laughs> the printing on this blue paper. My blue labels. Got to cut this one small because it's just barely going to fit. And then I got all that extra blue paper left after I cut out my label. Oh, my stomach. Are you hungry now or are you just not being happy with me? One or the other. Take this on. I'm so boring today, ain't I? Now I guess I gotta take this stuff on. I'm probably boring every day, but even more boring when I can sit here watching me tape. You can't even watch me. You're just watching me. You're not even seeing what I'm doing. This was eBay, right? Yeah. Ebay. eBay, eBay, eBay. I'm kind of glad to get rid of these. I sent some of them into Amazon. I was able to match some of them up. Like they had the Minnie and Mickey Mouse listing on eBay or on Amazon. So I did send them in. Probably all, all out of them. I don't think I have much left on Amazon at all right now. Very low. Start your own sweet mobile Monday bonus. Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, where's that? Oh, was I just showing you guys their address? I hope not. Um, what do I got next? All right, I have another moleskin. It's weird how I sell some of the same things like the same same uh, day. So this is just a little one. And oh, so he sold for fourteen eighty eight. I paid four dollars for that for the little ones. That's gonna fit in here. Oh, I should tape it on. Damn it! I don't like this whole taping stuff. I keep forgetting, and even though it was like seconds ago. Ooh. Just going to California. I say the ooh because my stomach just was so loud. It's so loud rumbling. 
I'm not going to stay on and chat after this show because my stomach is saying, feed me. Like, it's so loud. I had some yogurt and some pineapple this morning. Shouldn't be so hungry. California. This is going to a gentleman named John in California in Fremont. Just tell what did I sell and I canceled the order the other day? Uh, oh, Brazil. I think I was telling you guys that I'd sold that Squishmallow to Brazil. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to send it to you. Brazil is so bad. Anybody excited for the Olympics coming up? I'm excited. I hope they don't cancel them. Those poor athletes have been training for so long. So long. And then for have been canceled last year. Oh, if it gets canceled this year, some of them will never make it to the Olympics. I'm sure there's some that were, was all ready for the Olympics last year and then wasn't able to go. Or they might still be training and then something could happen to them between now and July. It's a bummer. I think if they limit how many people are there as spectators, which I think that's, you know, of course, when you're the host, you make a lot of money from that. I keep doing that. Good. Oh, you guys can't really see. That's good. I keep showing you guys the, the address side. Um, I sold some pickle granules. So somebody's got some cucumbers. And you are making some, they're making some pickles. I like your black noise. Keeps me working and I take a break to respond to you. So far this is break number three. <laughs> yeah. You just listen to me. I can just lull, lull you to sleep. Maybe I should do a nighttime show. Speaking of nighttime show, I wonder if Tommy Bernard had a show this last weekend because it didn't come up in my feed. Even though <laughs> sometimes it takes me, last one took me like two weeks to get through his show. It was five hours long. Sometimes I, I was, what did I watch? I watched some movies the other day. I put on um, Amazon. I finally got Amazon Prime again. It's been so anti-Amazon lately. But I said, you know what? I'm going to get Amazon Prime again. And so I've been taking advantage of watching some of the shows and stuff that have been on that. I took a bunch of pictures last week. I listed quite a bit, but I still got a lot left to list. I got to work on that. I think I'm going to work on that this afternoon and do my April accounting. I just want to see overall where I am for April because one of the things I spent a lot of time on this last month was working on cross-posting and spending a lot of time with Vendu and getting stuff going. So I wanted to um, see where my sales are at on the other platforms to see if it has been really been worth the time and effort. I think it has. There's part of me that's like, yeah, just from what I've been seeing. And you guys know, rarely do I come on and say, oh, I'm just shipping eBay today. It's usually other platforms also. Now, would those items have sold on other platforms? I don't know. I mean, would they have sold on eBay if I didn't put them somewhere else? Maybe, but I don't, I don't know. You don't really know. Because I'm selling stuff that I've had listed on eBay for a while and it didn't sell. But had had they not gone to Poshmark to buy it, would they have gone to eBay to buy it? Or would they just bought it from somebody else on Poshmark? I think they would have just bought it from somebody else on Poshmark. Oh my gosh. Tommy was hanging out in the background. Didn't even know you were here, Tommy. Are you? Did you have a show this weekend? Did you hear me say? Did, you, did somebody tell you? Somebody just wrought me out and say, Tamara's talking about you. 
Okay, I don't want to show you guys this label all the way, but look at, look how light it prints. It's been printing like way really light. I hope the scanners can pick it up. So yeah, so I really think that if I am not cross posting and something and uh, my items not on that platform, I think there are people who just won't buy from eBay or won't buy from Amazon. Uh, who only shop on, you know, other type of of ones. This is going to like, um, well, they like those forwarding companies. This is my granules because it's shipping to Miami and it's going to OEC Air. It's the person's name and then it says OEC Air. So that's what I'm thinking. Thinking it's a forwarder. Maybe they can't find pickled granules in their country. <laughs> Who knows? I'm in here list, listing, listening while doing school run and shipping. Oh, well, thanks, Ruler. Did you do, you didn't, did I see where you said whether you had a show? Oh, no. I'm sorry. You're up there. I've missed some of the chat up here. Uh, nope. Off for another week. I'm getting new software installed and the learning curve is kicking my ass. Okay. All right. So I didn't miss a notification. Wanted to make sure I didn't miss that. You know, there's, there's certain shows and yours is one of them that I pretty much still religiously watch. And I know when you took that like whole month off, I was like, where the heck is Tommy? Uh, sometimes I don't make it through your whole show. So if you didn't, like if you didn't, if I didn't know that Tracy dropped some type of big announcement, I don't know if I would have watched your last show as long as I watched it. Because I kept waiting for what's her big announcement. Okay, let's see. What do we got next? What do we got next? Hey, didn't you see you use Prime Lister for um, sharing your listings? They reached out to me. Um, to provide me their software to do a review and stuff, but I didn't like the terms, so I'm not going to do it. But, I, but when they told me who they were, I was like, oh, I think that may have been who, who Tommy mentioned that you use because they let you share your Poshmark closet. And speaking of that, because I know you saw on Poshmark, and for anybody else that does, I was watching, um, oh, who's that woman you had on your show who was a big Poshmark seller? Because I subscribed to her channel. She did a video the other day clearing up some miscommunications of stuff of something she saw but she noticed that when you went to Poshmark I know you use list perfectly for cross posting but who do you use for sharing your posh your Poshmark Amber resells yeah that's her name so she did a video saying that so when you log into Poshmark and you go on as a buyer or even as a seller right you going on to the page where you're going to buy something it automatically always defaults to just shared you have to change it if you want it by price or something else well, so it makes sharing so important because it's auto. I mean, that's how it's populating that page. And there's so many um, uneducated buyers that don't know that there's filters and stuff like that. So they just look at what's on their page and, and go from there. So if you're not populating that by sharing your closet all the time, then you're, it's hurting. It's going to hurt your sales. That's my philosophy. And, uh, but she was saying that it was actually like eBay has most relevant was one of the the things that popped up for so she checked reached out to Poshmark and they were testing the waters of this new feature I would love if they did that so I didn't have to rely on sharing all the time I think that's why they're not cracking down on people using bots and stuff because I think they're probably going to do away with having that be the default we'll see uh, closet assistant for sharing relist offers and to run sales okay closet assistant I think I wrote that down I probably could have just looked at my note. It's not on this note. Hold on. I got notes here. For when, oh, yeah, here it is. These are the notes from a show. Um, that sarcastic storage stacker lives in Louisville. Closet assistant is what you told me. College picker in blue consignment. For some reason, I don't remember why I wrote them down. <laughs> but I wrote those things down. <laughs> I'm not always so good at paying attention, but I, even when I make a note, right, I'll just make a short note. Okay. Um, all right, so next I sold, I was looking, I was going to put it in a four-by-four four box, which I think I might. Um, 
So at one time, buying yeast was really hard to find in the stores. So it sold really well online. I was late to that to that whole rodeo. Uh, so I picked some up and yeah, they haven't been selling, but I did just sell these. But they're good till May of 2022. So I hadn't really fretted over it too much. I just let it sit that sit there and I sold them. Um, these are all right. So I'm probably going to break even on these after fees because I paid $3 a piece for these. So $9 total. I bundled them and they sold for $16.88. So by the time I pay shipping and let me see, give me one of these envelopes. I'm going to reuse the envelope I cut. So by the time I pay shipping and stuff, I'm not making much on these. Not a big money maker, but I really would prefer to put them in a box. I think they should be okay, though. Not in a box. All right, I'm going to just put it in this. So I'm going to roll it up. Roll it and roll it. Oh, I can't roll it too much because i got to tape a stupid label on it. Oh, I can't believe those labels don't work. So annoyed by that. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Yeah, I'm going to look and see when I ordered those. It feels a while ago. It may have even been December. I'm thinking January, but it may have been December. Um, College Picker is a printer gene. Oh, yeah. So that's why. College Picker. I wanted to watch his video on the different printers. That's why he's on there. Because that was one time I was ticked off about my printer. Now I'm ticked off of the stupid labels. All right, 2.9. But I'm pretty sure you can. I can use those on other um, printers if I decide to jump in and get a different printer, which I might. I might do that today. I think I'm going to spend some money today. I think I'm going to invest in my business. Hey, it's going to Morning View, Kentucky. They want to make some bread. I wonder if it's coming out light because of the blue paper. I wonder if I'm getting low on my blue paper. I've been using blue for a while. If they take away sharing, Poshmark will grow immensely. I think so. I think they be, since they became a, a um, publicly traded company, I bet you they're getting pressure. You know, they're going to start getting pressure from their investors and all that. And I think that is hindering their growth. And there are so many people who won't sell on Poshmark just because of that. <coughs> um, for the longest time I wasn't sharing on Poshmark I, was, I mean just list it and forget it and I would still sell things here and there because if somebody's really looking for your Vera Bradley style purse and they can't find it anywhere else on Poshmark right, you're going to populate and some buyers are smart and they learn how to use a platform correctly to their advantage and not always by like the sharing, but they'll learn how to sort by price or stuff like that. I probably over tape my labels. I always tape them so much. I'm worried about if they get wet. And... Thank gosh I got a laser printer. And not an inkjet. All right, let's see. What do we got next? Next we got this thing. Another sticker book. I sold one of these last week too. Uh, so this I paid $4 for and sold it for nineteen eighty eight. dollars I've got another one of these that I cut. I think I'll reuse this one. I don't mind reusing stuff like this if it's eBay, but I won't do it on Amazon because it's not worth it. It's not worth customer complaints about reusing an envelope or that your envelope looks like it was opened and resealed. And then they'll complain and yeah, nope, not taking that chance. Um, so on eBay, on one of the eBay groups I'm on, they were talking a lot about the price eBay stock had dropped. So if you're in the market for buying stock, go get some stock. And they were talking about because eBay put out in their quarterly earnings report 
that they they made they did pretty good this last quarter, but they their projections for next quarter were to be a lot less because they think that people shopping online is going to almost this, I didn't read the article, but it sounded kind of like this person was thinking that eBay was pretty much saying that shopping online is going to come to an end. I'm like, no, there are so many people who who started purchasing online more and more, and I think they're going to continue it even when everything opens back up. There are certain products that are easy to purchase online. Other things are harder, like a pair of shoes or a pair of pants. You know, you might go to a store to buy those because you can try them on. But a lot of right now, dressing rooms are still closed in a lot of places. So their stock price tumbled because, Am uh, because eBay had mentioned that they thought their stock was going to be doing less next quarter. So the price went down, downtown, Julie Brown. Anybody ever watched when MTV played music all the time? Watch downtown Julie Brown back in the 80s, 90s. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this taping thing is for the birds. This is crazy. You know, as much as I don't like doing my accounting and stuff and taxes and all that, I love seeing my numbers at the end, seeing where I'm at and kind of just reflecting back and how I did with this and that. So I'm actually looking forward to doing that today. If you have 200, uh, if you have 200 listings on Poshmark, it takes so much time to share that many. That's a big reason I hate. Yeah, I've got a ton on Poshmark. Let me tell you how many I have. Do, 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 do. I've got a lot. Oh, I just sold something on Poshmark. Something else I got a package. I wish Poshmark had a cha-ching. If they do, somebody let me know because I don't get no cha-ching on my phone. I've got 1,015 listings on Poshmark. That's because I have been sharing the heck out of home goods and toys. And they now have pets, which I had no idea until I went to share on a party a couple weeks ago. And the theme was pets. And I was like, what? When did you start having a category for pets? It's, it's, it's not my primary Poshmark, so I don't even keep track of stuff. I do think COVID opened the market more to users that didn't normally shop online, but I'm afraid that inflation is going to hurt us. Yeah, inflation is crazy right now. I wanted to know if there are any update to the arrests made of the employees. I haven't heard anything. Anything. All right, I'm on my last item, folks. Except for that Poshmark thing, but I'll do that later. Um, I sold one of those Fox sweatshirts and sweatpants that I um, sold a couple weeks ago, or a week, maybe last week. I sold another one of them, so I'll grab that later. Um, another Mickey Mouse t-shirt from Wally World for $2. Sent it to Amazon. Got an IP complaint, which is weird because it was more for the brand, not because of Mickey. So whoever makes this, whatever the brand name is, whoever made it is the one who complained because I can sell Mickey. I can sell Disney. Um, I pulled them back, threw them up on eBay, and this is my last one. I paid $2, sold it for... $12.88 plus shipping, Tommy, plus shipping. The person paid their own shipping. Okay. Probably flat rate. I've been doing flat rate shipping. So I probably charge like $4 for shipping or something. Testing the waters on that. So far, so good. Of course, how do you know whether or not somebody would have bought or not bought? But things with shipping are selling. So I'm assuming it's okay. Six ounces. Do, 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 do. This is going to California. California. Oh, it's only $3.85 for me to ship it. So that's pretty good. So I probably made 15 cents on shipping. Oh, well, I didn't really make it, right? Because you got to pay fees on shipping. Come on, printer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, this is it, ladies and gents. Thank you guys for stopping in today. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, let's see how long we've been on. For a little over two hours. Not bad to do 20 some odd orders. Actually, quicker than I thought. Sometimes it takes me like three hours to do that many. Which I told my husband, don't expect anything until like 11, 30, 12. And I gotta empty my car, get that done. I'll probably take those pictures and then I'm gonna go upstairs and do um, some listings. I like to sit on the couch and do it, watch TV. Um, or watch YouTube on the TV. I'm going to do listings and accounting today. That is my goal. And I'll be back on Wednesday. I will be shipping and then putting my store on vacation because I'm going to be heading out on Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday and um, or extend my handling time type of thing. Uh, hope you guys have a great week. If I don't see you on Wednesday, I'll see you next Monday. Um, and I'm hoping to put out a standalone video. Plus I have my travel time chit chat. I'm going to put out talking about niches and, and, uh, my thoughts on that type of thing. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.